In this video, I'm going to describe you that how to use an Android app, an Android app based on IGCSE or GCSE chemistry, uh, where you can get access to a lot of resources, which is useful for your board exams how to download this app and then how to use and get access to all the resources so let's go ahead and see what is all this app when you type on google campscience.in you can see campscience the spelling is written here campscience.in also you can get an uh, link in the description of this video you can click on that link and get access to this page on your website this website will give you this page on the first one and you can click on this download now and you'll be able to download this app in your phone it's an android app so it's not an ios okay so in your uh, android uh, phone you will be able to download this app after a small procedure of making a login through your mail and paying a very small amount to get access to all these resources you can go ahead and see what is there in this app so when you click you get this is the first page of your app and when you click on igcse or gcse you will be able to see there are three main materials types of materials are provided you and that is topics past papers with ms and revision test i'll be explaining you in detail in uh, what are what is this uh, what uh, things you'll be able to get in topics and what is actually a revision test i'll be showing you everything here so let's first go ahead with the topics here now if i click on topics you'll be able to see that there are all the chapters which are there in our igcse gcse syllabus are present here you can select any chapter any topic here suppose now if i click on atoms elements and compounds so if i'm clicking here atom element and compounds in this I'll be able to get the study material. Study material is notes. Then I'll be able to get the video lectures also for all for all the subtopics which is there in this chapter. I'll be also able to get the subjective test and the MCQ test also. So let's first start with study material. What is study material? Now in this, I can I can show you that there are all these subtopics present in this chapter. And suppose uh, that uh, if I say isotopes, if I click on isotopes, you'll be able to get the notes on isotopes. Now these notes are very precise. Using important terms and phrases, we can directly use in your subjective answers in the board exam. So such and precise, but to it covers all the points which is given in our new syllabus of 2023-25 and so here is the term now this is just the first page of these notes you scroll down and you get more pages for the isotopes and you'll be able to get the complete notes on the topic isotopes and same way you have the other topics like atoms you have ionic bonding covalent bonding metallic bonding so you'll be able to get a good precise notes on all these topics if i go back you'll be able to see here we have video lectures also so let's see what are video lectures now in this video lectures also you can see that there are a number of uh, video lectures like the subtopics are given on the top basic structure of atoms isotopes electronic structure ionic bonding covalent bonding metallic bonding you scroll down you'll be able to see all these uh, lectures uh, video lectures so suppose if you click on one of the video lecture you will be able to get access to the video of the whole topic so if you don't want to read the notes you can just see the video you'll be able to get the demo also through the video the notes the explanation in detail everything here so these are the videos so many videos for just one chapter you can understand that for all the chop chapters you have access to so many videos so let's go ahead and understand that after video lectures what do you have you have subjective test now subjective test is the a collection of so many subjective questions of the given topics of this chapter so suppose if I click subjective a uh, test uh, that is actually the worksheets which is based on the questions of the past papers again you can see here uh, we have also categorized them into the core worksheet and extended worksheet. So for the atomic structure topic you have a worksheet of core also extended also for the bonding also you have a worksheet based on core paper you have worksheets 
two worksheets based on extended paper also so for such there are many other chapters in which you just don't have uh, one test you have other number of tests also especially when you will open the organic chapter organic we have access to so many number of worksheets where you will be able to get enough practice for the subjective test also now what's uh, see if what is an mcq test now mcq test is again and bank of mcqs for the given topic you can see here we have so many mcq worksheets not only one for the sub topics each sub topic is again having enough number of mcq questions in this mcq questions end of the video i'll also show you with an example that in an mcq you will be having a question and then you will be having the four options below it whatever uh, answer you feel you can click on it you will get access to more questions you keep on selecting your answers at the end you will be able to see the score that is out of so many mcqs what is your score what are the correct answers you had given what are the wrong answers you had given and if your answers are wrong what is the correct answer in its option that also you will be able to see at the end of each mcq test so you can say it's an mcq worksheet so you have separate worksheet for mcq also you have separate worksheets for subjective questions also in subjective questions again you have separate worksheets for core questions you have separate worksheets for extended questions also so this is all about the topics where in topics you have access to all these things now in going back in the materials we have past papers with ms also here you can see i have given you past papers right from summer 18 to summer 24 that is the latest papers i have given you here uh, more and more exams keeps on coming i'll be giving you more uh, latest uh, sub, uh, question papers also all the question papers with the ms i will i keep i'll keep on adding into it so the latest will be maybe winter 24 the moment the winter 24 papers are released i'll be uploading it in my app you can just get it refreshed uh, get an access uh, to this app for two years so for the coming two years whatever new question papers are released for the new examination series i'll be uploading it into the app you can just refresh and you can get access to all these papers now let's see what is revision test and how useful it is revision test according to me is the most useful substance in this app uh, you have here given a choice of select the chapter now if you select the chapter you may be able to select just the one chapter or multiple chapters it's your choice whatever chapters you want to revise you can select the chapters here if you want to select uh, revise only one chapter just select one chapter and submit so i have selected three chapters here for my revision so once i select the three chapters then i can click here whether i want to revise for the theory that is subjective questions or mcq or both so suppose if i say both i will be able to get the questions of both mcq and the subjective questions in my revision test suppose if i click both so here i have an mcq question at the starting of the test if you have selected both you will be able to get the n number of mcq questions and then you will get n number of subjective questions also so it starts from minimum 10 15 questions to approximately 50 questions maximum because it depends on how many chapters have you selected so if you have selected only one chapter which is a very small topic you will be getting some small number of uh, say few questions few mcqs and few subjectives but if you have selected more chapters you will be able to get more and more questions mcqs and subjective both so here is an example of an subjective uh, sorry mcq question you can see there is a question there are four options given here click on any one of the option you think is correct and keep on giving the mcq test at the end of the mcq test you will be able to see your score what are answers right what the answers are wrong you will also be able to see which questions had gone wrong and what is the correct option for it 
same way you will be able to get the subjective questions also so here is i have shown you an example of a subjective question here you can see there are there is a subjective question there are the sub questions also with the marks in the bracket in this subjective question obviously you will have to uh, write giving practice in your own notebook keep on writing answers in uh, to these questions in your notebook again at the end of this subjective test you will be given the correct answers for each question you can check your answers and mark yourself with the ms given in that uh, at the end of the question and you can uh, get a score so this is how it works mcq test the app will give you the score and you will get the correct answers also but your subjective will have to work a little but yes you can see that with a such a small size app and small amount of money you can buy a n number of resources for your gcse exam so just go ahead and download the app now